Hey guys, so if you've already seen this outfit, it's probably because I've got my Ipsy Bag um, unbagging video up before I have this haul up, but if not, you're going to see this outfit again. Just so you know, I'm filming these videos back to back. I um, went down to Ankeny today to do my friend Savannah's senior picture makeup, and it was so much fun. Thank you, for Savannah, for letting me do that for you. I had a blast, and you looked beautiful, like always, and I can't wait to see how your senior pictures turn out. So then after I finished with that, my friend Riley and I went down to Jordan Creek so I could get some uh, retail therapy going on up in here, and... Uh, I I went a little overboard. I went really overboard, but I've been saving up money specifically for this because I knew that I was going to go in needing stuff right away. Like, I already knew that I was going to be needing products that were already like $30 a piece. So I knew that I was going to be spending upwards of $100. And then I got more stuff. So we're just going to haul it for you. I went to Sephora, Bath & Body Works, and Ulta. And at Bath & Body, I just got one thing, and it's the one thing that I needed right now because I do work at Bath & Body, Bath & Body Works, obviously, so I can get it whenever I need it. But not this product. So let me show you real quick what I got from Bath & Body Works. Now, my store here in Fort Dodge is too small, so we do not carry our True Blue Spa line anymore, so that is what I picked up was the True Blue Spa Shea Butter Super Rich Foot Cream. I got the big tube. I've got the um, medium-sized tube right now, and yeah, I just, I love this stuff. Mm, minty. I put it on not every single night, but I try to put it on most nights before I go to bed, and then I'll put that on all over my feet, and then I'll pull on some fuzzy socks, and I'll go to bed, and my feet are nice and or nice and uh, soft in the morning. And so then I got that from the True Blue Spa collection. This tube is twenty dollars, but I got my discount on it, so it ended up only being like fourteen. Sephora or Ulta? Let's do Ulta. So I actually went to Sephora to get three things. And one thing they did not have. They were sold out. So then when I went to Ulta, I immediately had to run and see if they had it, and they did, thank God. And that's the Urban Decay All Nighter um, Makeup Setting Spray. I got the travel, or not the travel size, but the smaller version of this when I was in Wisconsin in August visiting my parents. Fell in love with it. Ran out of it, like three weeks ago, and I knew I was going to be coming down to, Ank or going down to Ankeny anyways today. So I was just like, you know what, I can hold out, I've got my e.l.f. spray, my e.l.f. spray works just as good. The e.l.f. spray that I use, the e.l.f. setting spray, it's like six dollars, it's like this big, it is a wonderful setting spray if you don't want to spend the thirty dollars on this spray, because it's just six dollars at Target. It is amazing, but this stuff is incredible like it just holds your makeup on your face all day long like it is an it says all-nighter setting spray and it is like that then I got my L'Oreal Magic Lumi um, light infusing primer I was out of that and I love it and then I keep on seeing everybody using this and I just I had to take the plunge guys I had to do it I got the <laughs> take the plunge. I got the NYX Contour Kit. Um, Highlight Contour Pro Palette is what it's technically called. But yeah, so I got that today. So it comes in this box. I'm just going to throw that box away because I don't want it. And here it is. We've got, oh, okay. Ice Queen Soft Light Cream and Neck. Oh, okay. Ice Queen Soft Light Cream and Nectar. And then Tan Toffee Sculpt and Hollow. And the names are right there on the back. It tells you the numbers and then it tells you the names right here. And I like that you can pop these out. I don't think these are magnetic, but they do just pop right out of the palette if you can see that empty spot. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Everybody and their mother's been talking about this, and so I've been excited to try it out. And that is it for Ulta. And now for Sephora. My favorite. I'm so excited to like film a haul for you guys. I've never done this. And I love like there's some of my favorite videos to watch because then I get inspiration for stuff that I want to get. 
Okay, so two things that I had to stock up on because I'm out, or I'm nearly out of. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, it's the bomb. If you don't, if you haven't tried it, go and at least get a sample size of it if you can, because it's amazing. And then the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in White Russian, I use that literally every day, so I'm almost out of it. And then the other products that I got are things that I've been looking at. They've been on my list, and I've got a pretty big list, and I get to cross these off. Um, but the list is different things that I want to try, different things that I've read reviews on and seen reviews on, and know that it's a good product, something that I've been playing with every time I've been going into the store and finally am committing to. So yeah, so that's what the rest of these products are. So the first one... I put that one away because that one was kind of a random one that I chose today. Um, first one is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. Now, I got the samples in one of my online purchases. It came with these three, or it came with all three. It came with milk chocolate, chocolate, and dark chocolate. And the milk chocolate is... I don't know if you can see that very well. The milk chocolate is too light, the chocolate was perfect, and the dark chocolate was way too dark. So the chocolate is the one that I've been using and it's gone, so I decided to purchase the full size. I just love the packaging. It like looks like it looks like the chocolate coins that get wrapped up in like the gold wrappers. It's got a pretty good sized mirror in it. It's like oddly fogged up. And then this is the bronzer, and I just think it's so beautiful. It smells so good. Yum. Okay. I'll swatch it for you. So that's what it is. It's just a great bronzer to have. It is, um, there, it's right here. It's a little orangey, but it's not too orange for me where I feel like I can't wear it. When I ran out of it this morning, I said to myself, maybe I should uh, pick that up today. And honestly, I just grabbed a basket when I walked into Sephora and I didn't really think twice about half the stuff that I put into my bag. So, or put into the basket. So yeah, that's it. So then the other product that I've been looking at but just haven't committed to yet because I was like, oh, I've got other primers is the Makeup Forever Step 1 primer and this is the mattifying primer this is um like the first one um so they've got the mattifying they've got the hydrating they've got all the different tones like the tone corrector ones and then they've got a few other ones but i wanted the mattifying one because that is what i will um need and it just comes in a tube how many ounces is this it's one fluid ounce but it feels like a lot more than that doesn't really have a scent so yeah and then I've got two more so then um this next one has been on my list for a really long time and I've been playing around with a couple of different um a couple of different palettes and I just couldn't decide which of the two that I liked the most um so I just, I kept every single time I would go in and I'd pick up each shade and blend it out on my hand to see how well it blended and to see the pigmentation and to see it on my skin tone and finally decided to commit to the Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. I've been going back and forth between this one and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. I was actually talking to a girl I went to high school with about the Anastasia one because she has that one. And she has a much darker skin tone than I do, and she has the light to medium palette, and said that that would probably be way too dark for me, which I agree, because it would always just look way too dark on my um, hand. Um, they did come out with a fair to light, I believe, um, palette, but it's not in the store right now, or it wasn't there, so I didn't get to play with that one. So I decided to get the Kat Von D palette because I've been playing with it and I know that I like it. So yeah. Um, let's see, it's got three colors to highlight. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, just look at how gorgeous it is. It's so clean and brand new. I don't even want to use it. Okay. So let me see if I can do this well. Okay. So we've got these. We've got the colors right here. And I've got a little cheat sheet. So this shade right here is called Lucid. These top three are obviously the lights to highlight. And then the bottoms are the shades to contour. So this is Lucid Lyric Levitation. And then Sombre Shadow Play Subconscious. Oh, that's funny. L's for light, S is for shade. Good one, good one. Um, so I'm really excited. I know that this one will work out with, for me really, really well because it's um, a little warmer. And then this one will probably be really good too because it is lighter of a contour. This one is going to be, I can tell you, it's gonna be way too dark for me, but I'll probably use it as like a uh, crease shade on my lids. And then I'll probably use this one the most on my um, under eye, like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I'll probably use this one on my under eye the most just because it does have the yellow tone in it. Um, this one's just a little too peach for me, so I don't know. I'll probably use that as a as a lid shade or um, for an eyeshadow. And then this one is not like super white. It's kind of like a skin tony white. Um, why am I not swatching these for you guys? So that's what that one is like. That one's pretty yellow. And that one's pretty peach. So it's like a white, a yellow, and then more of a peach shade. I'm having issues. Oh, goodness. And those are the highlight shade, or yeah, the highlight shade. So it's the white, the yellow, and the peach shade, which doesn't really show up because it's pretty much my skin color. But those are really good, and they're really good highlights. Like this, this one would make a good cheek highlight if I didn't want something super shimmery, which <laughs> when don't I want my highlight to look like my face is wet because damn, I mean, right here is oil, but right here, that's all highlight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay, sorry. Anyways. And then the three contour shades. Do the cool gray tone. The warmer mid-tone. And then the dark tone, which is really dark. Just gonna shut you, you beautiful beast, you. All right, and then those are the contour shades. So this is the dark one, the middle warmer toned one, and then the cooler gray tone. So as you can see, those are just beautiful. They're so pigmented and they, I gotta make sure I get these colors right. I don't know if you can tell, but that blended out so incredibly well. Like, let me just blend them all out. Like, look at how well those blended. They're insane. And I'm so, I'm so excited. And then the last thing that I got was pretty much on a whim. Um, I've just been hearing about it and wanting to try it out. So I just, I did it. I just did it. The product that I pretty much, I mean, Riley even said to me, she didn't even see me put this in the basket. If that's not bad, I don't know what is. And this is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder, the um, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And this is what everybody and their mother is using to bake. And baking is basically, once you get your contour done, you go in and you put it under your eye and then on your jawline and it just intensifies the contour and really brightens up those areas. So I'm very, very excited to try this out along with my Shade Light palette and my chocolate bronzer. And yeah, that's it for my haul. I got Bath and Body Works, I got Ulta, and I got Sephora. 
I went crazy, but I've been saving up to do this. So yeah, so that's it. I am all done with my haul. I'm so excited that I was able to do this. I don't, when I buy makeup, I usually buy like one or two things at a time. I don't usually get this much stuff. So I am very excited that I could share this with you guys. I need to put my receipt in my wallet. And yeah, that's it. I'm just, I'm so excited about this and I can't wait for you guys to see it too. So I'll let you know how the other four turn out. I'll let you know how I like the contour kits because I decided to get two today. I didn't even realize that. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. We're just gonna roll with it. If I don't like one of them, it'll probably just end. Like, honestly, um, I will keep the shade light palette for myself. And if I don't like it for whatever reason, I'll use it in my makeup artist kit. And same thing with the NYX, with the NYX kit. If I don't love it for myself, I'll just put it in that kit. And yeah, and that's about it. And I'll let you know how I like this primer and this, um powder as I'm using it and I'll just keep I'll try to use them in my videos as much as I can and let you know how I feel about them so yeah that's it I'm gonna go wash my face and take a shower and watch Bob's Burgers and I will see you guys in my next video love you guys bye